peace, love, and soul is Empress Gem. Again, for the super moon in Aries, right? Reading. How y'all feeling? How y'all doing? Are y'all feeling apprehensive? I've been hearing so many like negative stigmatisms for this super moon, and I'm like, why? Full moon. Oh, you're gonna be letting go. It's gonna be a lot of agitation because of Uran Uranus is in Aries, and I think it's just really and truly is full illumination to what we really need to let go of. There's no more pulling the wool. There's no more trying to sweep things underneath the rug. It's really time to be like, you know what? I got to let this go. It's time to let that go. People, places, situations, things. Hi, y'all. I'm feeling very my Mama Jade. My Jade girl. That's what I call it. Y'all like my twin flame necklace? This what this wonderful woman. You will, whenever you come to her table, you will always find a treasure, right? And then the story behind this is that it comes with a matching bracelet. The story behind this is it's been on her table for three years. She said, "I couldn't believe it. I was like, nobody don't what? Nobody ain't want this. It's been here for three years." Are you serious? I said it's been waiting for it's been waiting on me. As soon as I saw it, I was like, oh. <laughs> and then the one right before it was this one I had got. Oh, from her. Lovely. My baby was like, the zombies, mommy. The zombies are dead. <laughs> yeah. So I'm feeling real very whimsical. Very whimsical. That's why I was like, I'm going to get all my jade up tonight for this reading. I'm going to pull a crystal for each energy as usual. And I also got from her my head hair room as well, you know. But as I was saging the crystals before I put them on, I don't know, I caught a deja vu moment. I just caught uh, like a, almost an inception moment. Like, I was like, wow, this is really big. This is it, right? Because I seen that there was a situation that I was needing to let go of. And I saw it coming. And it, it kind of, it, and I felt, what it was was that the energy of other people around me was erratic. But I was like, no, I'm going to stand firm. I'm not. I'm going to keep my boundaries up. And I was really proud of myself. You know what I'm saying? I came home, cleaned, did laundry, prepared for this reading. And I'm proud of myself because I can see myself growing. I can see myself, like, you know, not letting other people's energy affect me, you know? Oh, wow. Okay. And I'm going to pull, of course, an Isis. But how y'all feeling? What's going on with y'all? You know? Aries. Aries is what? Of course, fire energy. And Aries rules the head. Your personality. Aries is in my first house. So, you know, for me, this is all about being sh showing who I really am. Showing the full illumination and light. Of my personality and not being afraid of showing it, not being afraid who may feel away, you know what I'm saying? Not being afraid of who. Go back in the room. Go back in the room. Go back in the room. Thank you. Um, you know, who may feel away? Period. I'm done with that. I'm done with dimming down my light for people because I see it all the time. When I see myself going through a transition, when I see myself going through a change, and it's like, I've I'm got to be a little afraid. Or you may feel like you don't fit in here, you don't fit in there. You may feel like a, a big fish in a small pond, and then, you know what I'm saying, you're jumping into the big, fish, into the big pond, and now you start, you're feeling like a small fish, so you're feeling a little awkward. And I think that's what's happening to me. But 
but I'm okay with it because I know what it means because this has happened to me before, but I'm ready for it. I'm ready for this jump. Oh, wow. The rising sun, the divine solar child reborn. And it's all green. Mm. Okay. Let's get started, y'all. I got my tea. I'm just feeling very... Sorry, at peace. I'm just like... I might, This reading might be very calm for y'all. I know y'all used to me being a little hyped. But... Okay, Divine Masculine is the page of wands. And it took me a while to figure out what which energy was what, you know. But this is the divine masculine right now. You know, feeling like he's walking on ice. Nah, he's not feeling stable right now. But he's like, I'm gonna make it through though. I know I'm gonna make it through. You know, and then the page is a young, youthful energy. And it correlates to the fire, to the Aries. You know, maybe a lot of the twins. Oh, that's what I was thinking about. The archetypes for the twin flame union. What the archetype for the masculine is the, excuse me, the king of cups. And the archetypes for the divine um, feminine is the queen of wands. Right? Those are the attributes that we need to reach to in order for us to be in full balance with ourselves and with our beloved. Right. So I know a lot of divine feminines have been reaching out to me like, oh, my goodness. What's going on? He, he's been doing this. He's been doing that. But guess what? Like I said, right now he's in a page stage. So that's why you have to let him walk and go through this journey. Let him do it on his own. We can't force them. He got free will. We can't force them to be like, listen, I'm your beloved. You're coming with me. Okay? You're leaving her alone. And that we, we can't do that. We can't do that. We have to be what? Now, this is Aries, the emperor. Staying in our own power. Letting go of the victim mentality. That our twin is doing everything to us. Being petty to us. You got to let them go. Give them that space to grow. Give them that space to grow into the king, right? Meanwhile, you continue to do to build up your empire and be stable within yourself. And that's what I was feeling this whole today. Like I was just being stable, keeping my boundaries, like I said, not sinking back into old habits, old ways of thinking. And I felt so proud of myself, you know, the divine masculine. It's a battle. It's a battle for him. It's a lot of two energy going on here. You know, taking in what he's learned so far. You know, balancing out. He can't smother his his demons. He can't. He, none of us can. You got to be able to work with your demons and know who you are and know, okay, what you could cut out, what you can modify. What you can do in moderation. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But he's battling himself though. In his mind. Himself. It's not It's not you. It's himself he's battling. Whenever your, your beloved does something and acts out. He's really battling himself. He's not battling you. Don't take it personal. No. It's himself. It's him trying to balance out himself. You know. Balance out his thoughts patterns right and then what we the high priestess and you see how the crisscross you see that the two the 11 11 the i and i again it is us we we are using our intuition and knowing even though it may feel a way we are like you know what all we all i can do is stand firm in it it don't make no sense me trying to convince him to fight him why because i know better I know better. I don't have to, I don't have to fight with him. I don't have to go back and forth with my beloved. You know? I know this is a spiritual journey. So let me be that high priestess. Let me get my rituals on. You know what I mean? 
let me get my knowledge. What what that you we've already been getting the knowledge base up. We've already been doing research on the twin flame union, right? The symbols, right? The beautiful symbols, the eleven eleven, studying all of these things, the signs, like okay, the signs. Is he it? Let me look up what the signs are. Are there or is there compatibility in our astrology charts? You know what I'm saying? So now it's like, okay, we know. We know that this is our journey. We know who our beloved is. We know what this is now. So again, see? Yes. But again, he's fighting himself. See? Again, the two of swords. He's fighting himself. He's fighting himself. He's like, you know, I'm, I'm just going to keep up with it. I'm just going to keep up with the separation. But in time, but look, hold on. Let me see if I can show you. Okay. He's looking away, walking, but he's still walking towards you. Un unknowingly walking towards you. And you are worrying up in bed at night. You know what I'm saying? Because your bed is cold. Trust me, me no. Lord, my bed been cold for years now. Years. Bed been cold. You hear me? I know. I know. Some of us. You know what I'm saying? Not all of us. But. Or he's going out late at night. You understand? You don't know what he's doing. You don't know who he with. But listen. All you doing is bringing what? Negative energy to yourself. I don't know. When I seen this, I thought about bed bugs. That's what I thought about. And we know that anything has a spiritual connotation to it. Bed bugs, um, they bite. So that's like a like a, a vampire almost. Blood sucking you. When you when you are worrying about your beloved, you're taking the energy away from yourself. You have to be able to bring that energy. You have to be selfish. You have to bring that energy to yourself. You have to. You have to. You can't keep worrying about what he's doing. Why is he doing this and that? Why is he pushing me away? You can't. You have to be selfish. You have to think about yourself. Again, staying in your priest, high priestly nature. And collectively, the outcome, the Knight of Cups. I was like, ooh, I like that. You know, because it can mean that he could be coming towards you, even even with um, a shield on, though. You know, he's like, I, I, I don't know. I'm not sure. But, you know, I, I want to start something with her, you know, especially with that this fire Aries energy. You know, he's like, you know, maybe maybe we, I should make it like a friendship. You know, maybe we could start off as friends, start going to the same places, start, you know, I know my, but I don't know, maybe he did it directly or indirectly, but my, my beloved pulled a little stunt and I was like, and I got mad, <laughs> right? <laughs> Call myself like, what are you doing? Right. But then I thought about it and I was like, maybe he's so even whether he did it consciously or subconsciously. And I was like, he's doing this to push me to be better he's doing this to push me that means he was thinking about me oh yeah now that i think about it i'm like oh he was thinking about me when he did this even though it was a little vindictive like i said even though it was a little me it was a little he was a little sharp with it but look he's still coming with that love because he still loves you he's thinking about you oh man that was deep yeah see that armor he still got to cover he still got to you know what i'm saying cover and i know my beloved is a water sign so you know we already know they are very loving on the inside but they don't want they're not trying to get hurt so they got to keep up a front masculine prosperity the cornucopia love you know the universe is pouring its abundance out to you be open to receiving it don't think that you know the same outcome is going to happen to you that happened in the past because that's what he thinks he, you know listen men get hurt too they've been hurt before in the past too and we gotta be like i said this is what the arts express yourself through creative activities 
you know, and that's what I was feeling like with getting the crystals together. And I was feeling very creative and I started like, I'm going to work on my business now. Being that he pushed me and prodded me now. Oh, really? I changed up my little pro my profile a little bit. I added my YouTube channel and I'm going to add, I'm going to employ y'all please tell a friend to tell a friend to subscribe i'm trying to get at least 100 subscribers at least so that way i can change my user id so that way you guys would be you know people would be easier to find me so i could i could put the link on my social media so you know please you know pass the word around if you really and truly like my readings you know what i'm saying so i'm you know i'm growing i'm progressing and if i'm feminine the lotus flower still you know, we, we are so beautiful. We are so creative. We got to get out that, that victim mentality. And again, balance. You see what I'm saying? He's balancing out his light and his dark. His, 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 he's getting in tune with that feminine nature within himself. You know what I mean? To be able to receive, be open to receiving. That is the feminine, to receive love. The men are so used to giving, 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 giving. They're not used to being able to receive, to receive, you know, from, from the feminine, you know. And it almost looks like this is a sword here too. Balancing out his thoughts, man. Not being so erratic. And then the feminine is peaceful warrior. I love her. I love her. Right? Ariel, thank you for helping me stand my ground with peace. Standing in your priestess, you know, meditate. I was I was pulling, I was shuffling the cards for a minute. I was quiet. You know what I mean? I had my incense going for a while. I would have my my tea brewing. And I just was feeling good. You know what I mean? Knowing that I'm learning so much. You know what I mean? And using that fire, that flame. We are the we are the flames. The eternal flame of love and light, the divine feminine. Right? Like I said, we are the leaders. We're the spiritual leaders. No matter how you look at it, we are the spiritual leaders. We carry that intuition within us. We all the men do too, but that is more of our forte. They are more the left brain. Right? So you gotta stay in your ground. Stay in your ground. Like, all right, you you wanna stay over there for right now, it's okay. I still love you. I'm not gonna jump in, in into the arms of another man. I'm not gonna go to bed with someone else. You know? The masculine, like I said. Look at that passion. He's feeling that passion. He's thinking about you. He's thinking about you. Even though he don't may not know how to express it in the right way, in the kingly way, but he's he wants to express that passion for you. You know, he's thinking about you. He loves you. You know. Then the feminine again, deception came out. What's going on? Like I said, I think that we are holding on to this victimhood. We are deceiving ourselves that we are victims and we're not. We are not. We are the peaceful warrior, right? We got to get out of that victim mentality that our twin is doing this and doing that to us. Blah, say, blah, say, blah. No, I don't think so. I really don't think so. I, well, I don't feel that way, especially with this full moon, letting so many things go. Okay, this is the cosmic crystal. This is for the masculine. Anandalite, cosmic consciousness. Anandalite, if I'm saying it wrong, please forgive me, gently facilitates integration and releases emotional blockages standing in the way of spiritual awakening. It reminds us that consciousness is omniscient and omnipresent, seeing all, knowing all. Immerse yourself in the mystical interconnectedness that is cosmic consciousness. You have the potential to live in a completely different different dimension of consciousness. Recognize that you previously operated within a narrow band of awareness, attuned to flashes of, a, of divine light within your soul. Let feelings of separation fall away. Embrace unity. 
You are here to experience cosmic consciousness. Transform your goals and seek a new direction. You have ex exceptionally clear sight now. Strip to the bone as the old falls away. Do not despair. Go in the room now. New light is infused. When you transform your awareness, humanity experiences a quantum shift. Enlightenment can happen now. You are part of everything and everything is part of you. The frequency exceptionally high. Soul star and stellar gateway cleanses and activates all. Present moment. Being a vessel for cosmic consciousness. That is beautiful. Go ahead. I'm, I'm recording. Go. Thank you. Thank you. Because y'all supposed to be in bed anyway. Go in the room. Beautiful. Right? So, it says, let the feelings of separation fall away. That, that we are separate from each other. Because we're not. We're not separate from each other. I said, go in the room right now. Sixteen. All right, for the divine feminine. Now, this is a healing crystal. This is what? Aquamarine. Aquamarine has long been a healing gem associated with the sea and also with stimulating psychic abilities. It was believed to protect to protect against seduction. You are deeply intuitive, but you need to assess this realistically. Do not be seduced by vivid imagings, wishful thinking, or spiritual claptrap. Use your imagination to create what is for your highest good and well-being follows. If you fall into depression, remember that hope shines into the darkest places. Release self-defeating programs. Listen to your inner guidance. Be objective. Accept what's on offer. Watch out for idle gossip. Tie up loose ends before moving on. Hey, this full moon, man. Remain emotionally detached. Avoid procrastination. Success may come in a court case. Stay positive and remember your family. There is no reason to lose the hope of your heart since well-being is a state of mind. Hi. Throat chakra, third eye, aligns all, timing, Aries, Gemini, Scorpio, Pisces. So, path, seeing beyond consensual reality or illusion. Seeing past that deception. Okay? Taking, standing firm in who you are. Tying up the loose ends for union. Because we think we written up. You got to tie up them loose ends, baby girls. Yes. Don't be seduced into that, you know, because we, like I said, we get so caught up in how is it going to happen. Don't get seduced into into the mind trap, okay, of worrying what are they doing. They're never going to come. They're never going to come to me. That is not true. And you know it's not true. You know it's not true. Because then your paths would have never crossed the way that it did, you know. Know that it's for your highest good. Use your imagination. Express yourself creatively. Okay? That's what's going to heal us in this in the waiting period. Or when our beloved is being petty towards us. Or being vindictive. You know? I love these crystals. I love the crystal deck. Okay, now let's read the Isis. Because you know that's going to take a minute. You know that's going to take a minute. Okay, the rising sun, Heru. Heru is, yep, reborn. He's reborn. Okay, where are you? Rising sun, okay, the divine solar child reborn. A dark phase and struggle is over. A new phase is upon you, one of hope, glory, light and triumph it is one through boldness persistence even when you felt like giving up you chose to stay strong to surrender to the divine and continue with the path that's that priestess you have been through much and now victory is upon you beloved for the divine solar child a new consciousness within you is born as we journey into the ancient feminine there are many many times when we meet her dark face we must be patient, accepting, allowing. 
often what we meet are the difficulties of birth, literal and symbolic, right? Well, I mean, I mean, hey, if you're your mother and you know childbirth, okay, there's nothing like it. That pain, there's nothing like it in this world. Nothing. We might feel great emotional or physical pain, spiritually bereft, alone, and yearning for deeper union. Perhaps even wondering if what you seek could be a genuine experience or if it is the stuff of daydreams and fantasies. Up all night wondering, like, is this really, hold on, hold on, you know, I like to show back, the, is this really going to happen? Is he really going to come back? Am I going to be the cat lady? Am I going to be the cat lady for the rest of my life? <laughs> no. Not me. Not I, not I, said the cat. Okay? Now, during times of despair and struggle, we come back to our hearts, searching for faith within. Searching for signs to support us as we take the long journey down the spiritual birth canal into love and even greater ex expression. It might take us weeks, months, or many, many years to birth ourselves over and over again into more of our divine essence. Some birthing processes that are deeply profound will feel as though they take most, if not all, of our lifetime on this planet. At another level, many lifetimes will constitute one birth process. However, no matter how much we encounter the inner workings of the womb of the divine feminine, there are always moments of entering the light of birth into a new world as a new being into a reality transform. These moments are precious and herald the beginning of a new level of divinity. Uh oh, my phone about to die. Hold on. Expressed often in deeply creative new ways. Creative. New ways. The divine solar child being born brings new light into your life. Likely to express itself in multiple forms. Derives and new relationships, new inspiration and opportunities in your work and spiritual life. More love. Enjoyment. Go ahead. Go, ahead, go, put, your, go put your BJs on. They always got them. That's my babies. Okay. New or more energized community, greater well-being and experience in your body, creative abilities that you didn't even realize you had opening up effortlessly as you surrender to allow your the body and creative faculty to flow. These are some of the gifts that are given to you by the universe at the cosmic baby shower. <laughs> Hold on. These are the gifts. Right, that are given to you by the universe at the cosmic baby shower gifts, abundance, prosperity that the universe okay, that I love that analogy for the birth of the divine solar child, the sweetness of the gifts of this new life make all that came before it so sacred and worthwhile to honor and accept the past and the courage it required of us and yet to accept that it is now time to turn our face to the light and partake of the fruits of our inner labors is what this oracle ordains symbolized by the headdress of cow horns <sighs> with a golden disc within worn by Egyptian Kemetan goddesses, including Aset and the symbolism of Aset nursing her divine sun child Horus at her breast. The oracle of the rising sun brings with it a new day, dawn, breakthrough, end of struggle and the genuine and the stable birth of optimism and hope for you now. Wow. Hold on. Let me read this incantation for y'all. Rising sun, I am your solar child. I bask in your love, free and wild. I am filled with your hope, endless and free. Your light and love fills all parts of me. The darkness cast away. Joy is now born with the sweetness of the spiritual dawn of the high priestess. Oh, man. I mean, I, do y'all be surprised at how synchronistic, how how all the cards just flow? I mean, I've been I've been doing this, but it, every time I just be astonished. Every time, every time, you know, 
and I'm grateful. I got this time. I got, my, I got Grammy with me. I got my picture of my Grammy right here. You know what I'm saying? And you know, I'm I'm really feeling it. I'm feeling it. And I asked. I said, you know, I want to be the matriarch that you were. You know what I'm saying? That you are. That you represent. Please give me the guidance and the light to be the that matri that divine matriarch that you was for the Arthur family. You know, and. For this to come out, this is the divine mother. She's suckling this this child, and the cosmic baby shower, Bridget. I love that analogy. The gifts. This is what's being. The, that's what you gotta let the old go. How you gonna keep buying? You cannot buy new clothes, and then you got the old clothes that you can't fit. That ain't. You know what I'm saying? Donate it. Get rid of it. You know what I'm saying? If you got. People around you that don't understand you, that only want to be around for certain reasons, and you feel it, even if they don't say say it, but you feel it, you know, just let them let them go with love. You ain't gotta hate on nobody. You ain't gotta be, you know what I'm saying. And let your beloved go. You're gonna have to let him go, cause he think he thinking about you. You know he he may pull a stunt. You know what I'm saying. That passion is being birthed within him. That passion, he gonna come for you, girl. When he come, I know, I know. He come for me. You know? But it's a healing. There's a healing within us. And standing in our power. And stop deceiving ourselves. We are not the victim. Okay? We got this on lock. We are getting rid of it. We getting rid of it. You know? Stop eating, eating shit. That ain't no good. That look like Benny. <laughs> okay. Let's stop eating that poke. If you got to. You know what I mean? And then, oh, I meant to show y'all the underlying card. I looked at the bottom of the deck. And it's the four of swords. You know what I'm saying? Being all right. It's all right. You know what I mean? It's coming away from it. The, there's nothing to be heartbroken about. At all. Because you know what this journey is all about. And and that's it. If we, we if we have eternity, there's no there's no rush. We have eternity because if even if next left time, next lifetime, the next dimension, you know, come out of the the um the three dimensional, the dense, the dull, and the dumb. Okay, come out of that. You know what I'm saying? Rise above it. You know, feel more free. Drink your damn tea. You feel me? <laughs> I'm I'm grateful that y'all spend all this time listening to me ramble. You know what I mean? But we're going to get through this. Masculines, if y'all listening out there, you know what I'm saying? You know how you feel. Just balance out your thoughts. Just balance out yourself. You know what I'm saying? Let go of, of what ain't serving you either. And with love and light, we're going to rise. Peace.